hi guys in this video we are going to learn about the developer tools so in javascript when we debug our javascript code then we have needed the knowledge of uh, uh, developer tools in that we have developer console network local storage session cookie and all so later we will be exploring all the things but for now uh, in this video we are going to learn about the console window and then we have the network tab and uh, local storage as well so i have already created a login form so you can see here and uh, let me show you uh, one thing first of all so if you are interested to see the code of this page then you can right click and click on view page source so then you will be uh, seeing the html code of uh, the specific page all right so all the things would be shown here for example i have this page and i am going to see the code of this page then you will right click and view the source then you will be getting everything so for say example you wanted to see that uh, the path of this specific uh, uh, file is correct or incorrect then you have you can actually check from here once you will be clicking over it if the file would be accessible so that means you have the surety that this is uh, loading into our uh, into our file all right if not then you will be getting some error so these are the few things that we uh, just seen all right so now uh, let's see about the form data that how the data has been sent to our server so let me show you i have actually created a form here inside of it i have two fields username and password and i am going to send the data to server.php which is over here so once i am getting the server uh, i am getting the data from uh, form.php i am just displaying it i mean printing it out so that i could able uh, so that we could able to see uh, that form data so let me show you so here we have this form data i am going to right click and inspect and here we have the console window so you can use according to your uh, convenience you can open it uh, on the right hand side in this way you have the option to, to open it in left hand side so for now i'm going to keep it on right side all right so we have for example i wanted to show a message here so here you have the option to write any javascript code if you want uh, whatever you wanted to so for example i am writing here console hello world so here you will be getting the result all right for example i am writing here alert hello world so once you will press the enter then uh, the hello world would would be displayed so that means everything is working fine here and if you wanted to clear all these then you can click on this button then everything would be cleared if you wanted to debug any specific element then you can click on this inspector so wherever you will be going that inspector would be showing you uh, you can see all the properties here padding and width height and everything yeah this you can see that this is the form so you can uh, see the color font uh, size and font family as well so everything you you would get to know so this is the button everything is displayed related to button so this is called as inspector all right so if you will be clicking over it you will be automatically uh, um, uh, redirected to specific element all right so this is for example h1 so if you wanted to uh, uh, i mean uh, implement any specific uh, css property then you can give the property here for example color red so that color would be reflected on the form so this would not be saved here but still you can do the testing to various other sites that how that is looking and how you can copy paste the uh, styles from other websites as well so these are the few things that we can uh, do over here for say example i am writing here i am clicking on the form and i am interested to write a border solid two pixel and red so you can see the border so every property you can implement here and then after you can copy from here and paste into your code so this is called as 
and this is the use of inspector all right so this is actually helping you to identify a specific HTML element then we have this one which is helping you to see the responsiveness that how this would be looking into your mobile phone for example we have this pixel so this is the galaxy s5 so let me show you over here for example you are clicking on inspect and this website I have uh, already created so if you are interested to see this into your web into your mobile phone then you can explore from here iPad in the iPad it would be looking like this so you can see its design here so if you are interested to see on iPhone 5 then it would be looking something like this so these are the few things that we can do the testing you can see that uh, this is the responsiveness all right so we can check over responsiveness using this all right and you can also uh, uh, check here by clicking on that in portrait mode how the design would be looking like and in vertical landscape and portrait you can change it from here so this was related to responsiveness so we, we have explored three things in the console you can write any type of javascript and using this inspector you can identify a specific element width height and everything uh, and here we have this one which is uh, used to uh, see the responsiveness of the specific page all right so let me show you now uh, the network tab so this is the network network means whatever request you are uh, sending to the server that would be shown over here with the status and header and the data and everything so these are the types of request for example all means everything uh, xhr means uh, ajax request later i will be showing you what is what is the meaning of ajax so this is javascript i mean uh, the javascript files are loading the data from server this is the css img images media like audio video fonts documents uh, web sockets manifest and other all right so all the things would be displayed here and this is preserve log that means once the page would be refreshed then the uh, sometimes if we have not checked this then the uh, files which were uh, shown here earlier that removed and then latest one loaded here but if we are interested to see the older one as well then we need to check this checkbox and then uh, what's uh, what will happen the older and the latest one both would be kept over here so let's see how we can do the things for example I am writing here let me refresh this yeah this I refreshed and here is the console I am going to clear this one so if you will see on the network tab here it is cleared but for now for example I am writing here Ramzan username and password something and then clicking on the submit button so once I am submitting then you can see that I redirected to server.php and here I already show, uh, said to you that I will be sending the data and that would be received on this file so this was the username and this was the password but here you can see that we had server.php file so once you will be clicking over it you will get the response here like status code 200 ok that means successfully uh, you could able to send the data to the server and this is request method that is post and this was the URL and then we have at last if you will see here is the form data so this was the data that we sent username is Ramsan and password is this one so you can see the data that would be sent uh, into a specific request so in this way we can actually identify that whatever data is going to be sent if there is something missing then we can get to know from this information so I hope you got the under basic understanding of uh, these these things all right there are a few headers and everything these are little bit advanced later on we will cover in the in the uh, uh, coming videos but for now you need to know about that how the data is going to be sent from here uh, in a specific request and if that is successfully sent then you can see the status code here
this is representing the success and failure of a specific uh, request so xhr i already told you so let me show you here for example i have this website so i'm going to refresh this one so if you will be refreshing this one and going to the network tab you will see lot of files would be loading here yeah these are the few files that has been loaded with different status code so there are some images and everything these are showing that the in the red color so that means these are not loaded successfully all right so maybe server is not sending the response or maybe some problem here but you can identify from here all right so 200 means successful 304 and everything so a lot of images so if you will filter from here xhr there is no request javascript request these are all javascript these are css files these are images you can see over here few are uh, not loaded successfully these are medias fonts documents and everything right so here you will be clicking and then you will be getting all the files which uh, for which the request has been sent so in the console i already told you that whatever messages you wanted to display from your code you can uh, you will be writing and then those would be shown over here all right so these were the few things that i was trying to make you understand let's see one more thing i am going to open it over here actually i am uh, now talking about uh, the local storage so let me show you what does it mean yep so here we have yeah here we have this website so for example i am interested to go to the pages so here you will be clicking then you can see that wait a minute you can see that this become blue the color has been changed this color was before here but now it is shifted to here so what does it means it means that uh, this was active and now this is active for example I am transferring from here so you will see that this uh, this menu would be active now because I have clicked over here and I am the I am on the page of services so this is actually I maintained using the uh, lo uh, local storage so let me show you in the local storage I am saving the specific page name so here once you will be clicking over applications then we have wait a minute yeah you can see that in the application we have local storage and then we have that specific URL which is running all right so here we are getting services this is the key and this is the value all right so for example I am shifting from services to about us you can see that the local storage value has been changed now so page is now about all right so in the in this way I am going to manage the uh, navigation I mean that I can able to handle the active uh, CSS property of these navigation uh, menus all right so I was just the main motive is to uh, make you sure that how the local storage work so local storage means that there is some space that is uh, that uh, we can uh, that we can use from the browser so that helps us to to to, to store the data temporarily all right so once you are going to clear this one for example I am going to clear this so this would be deleted and if you refresh this there would be nothing all right so in this way the uh, local storage works so we explored three things today about console about the network and uh, inspector responsiveness and uh, we have also talked about the local storage that we have just explored and we also got the data uh, to the server all right so let me show you here 
actually in the form action attribute i mentioned the server.php file that's why i could able to send the form data to this server.php uh, and i got that data uh, in the post method all right so i got here the data i can utilize from here and able to insert uh, into our database so all the handling would be taken place from here all right so on the server side we can handle that data whatever you wanted to do you can do i mean you can store you can do the validation uh, and everything uh, according to your requirement all right so these are the features that we need to know about so in this way we can get the help out of uh, things to make it more easier so uh, see you in the next video